Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Pluto and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel today. Hopefully everyone is having a great day and welcome back to the YouTube channel for some more Call of Duty Zombies leaks, information and news. So today I'm actually going to be talking about when Zombie Chronicles 2 could possibly be releasing and if it's going to be releasing this year. But before I actually go on to actually continue this video, if you guys could go ahead and slap a like as per usual, we're aiming for about 25 likes and obviously go ahead and subscribe with the post notifications on as you can assure me to go ahead and keep you up in the loop of leaks, information, news and everything related in Call of Duty Zombies. So yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about Zombie Chronicles 2, when it will be coming out and if it's going to be coming out this year or the beginning of next year. I made a video about a week ago regarding when this could be coming out and my speculation at the time was actually January slash February of next year and this is because Every single DLC in Black Ops 4 so far has been between a three and a half month gap in between each one. So that's approximately about 104 days each DLC. Now at the moment we actually have no confirmation about when Call of the Dead slash DLC 4 will be actually releasing. But as of right now, in about three hours from now of this recording, it will probably be live this video, we'll actually be getting a bit of confirmation on when DLC 4 pack will be coming out. Because the new operation will say how many days are left in the operation and I'm actually going to talk a little bit more about that in today's video as well. So like I said, let's go ahead and continue. If DLC 4 were to release in September, then if you could push three and a half months onto that, you're looking at about January, late January to early February. Now let me go ahead and talk about this right now and why my opinions are going to change. I believe Zombie Chronicles 2 could be a possible download this year and this is reasons why every single asset for every single map of what will be coming out to Zombie Chronicles 2 is pretty much in the files it's pretty much all in blackout if you guys play enough blackout you should know by now that everything is there the buried map is pretty much there the buried maze is there the transit diner is there we actually have Ted in the bus in multiplayer and we also have Ted himself in Alpha Omega so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this as well now we have nothing related to die rise as of right now but I'm sure with this new update they will start putting little things for die rise in the map we already know that all the cast for the original maps from Transit Buried and Die Rose are going to be coming back. We actually have the same voice actors because we have Molten who's actually in the bunker in Alpha and Mega. We have Stulinger who talks to us in Classified and Blood of the Dead. We have Misty in Blackout and we also have Russman in Blackout which is all the same voice actors. So that's going to be another thing in why they could be releasing it this year. They already have all of the voice actors pretty much right now probably in the studio doing quotes because we have everything in blackout and like say zombies now if you guys think this is actually insane news as of right now go ahead and tell me in the comment section below because i don't think personally i'm tripping i think this is actually good news because this can be coming to us very very soon sooner than we think and my possible thoughts are that it's going to be releasing between now and october and possibly november of this year if that actually does not come out then then i'm actually going to stick to my original saying of january slash early february because it would make a lot of sense for it to be there but we're actually going to be talking a little bit about DLC 4 as well and a guy who actually posted this on Reddit because this is awesome information and news that I actually want to share with you guys alongside this video. But if you guys are hoping for Zombie Chronicles 2, let me know in the comment section below on what map you will be going ahead and playing first of all because I know for myself I'll be probably playing Buried or Die Rise but let's go ahead and talk about DLC 4 in a sec. Also, if you guys want to go ahead and check out my Zombie Chronicles 2 leak, I actually will provide a link down in the description here below which goes on to talk about new boss fights new cutscenes new everything new easter eggs everything is changing for zombie chronicles 2 it might not even be the same as what we experienced in black ops 2 zombies so that's awesome as well but let's go ahead and kick and get right in there's dlc4 news which i actually want to add on to this video which is absolutely mind-blowing so i'm going to give a quick shout out to this guy over on twitter who actually provided me a link with this and i'm actually going to give him a shout out down in the comment section below so go ahead and show him some love for this thread so basically big shout out to this guy Nanikos sorry if I did get that name wrong or pronounced it wrong I do apologize on that but let's go ahead and talk about what he said over on Twitter guys so he actually went on to say first off if we take a look at past Call of Duty Zombie DLC releases they are all the same sort of time period releasing end of August and beginning of September DLC for prior release date so let's go ahead and talk about Revelations Revelations dropped on the 6th of 
September and that was 56 days after Gorod Krovi. Now if we skip back to Origins that released on the, the 27th of August and 56 days after buried and then if we go ahead and look back at black ops one moon that actually released on august 23rd and that was also 56 days after shangri-la what a coincidence triarch have actually been doing all along we have never honestly realized this and i'm actually going to go ahead and quickly say now that in a previous video i actually made yesterday i said that it would make perfect sense if this next operation the second phase of operation apocalypse z is another 28 days because the first phase one version of it was actually 28 days to go ahead and get all the tiers done and then if it makes sense to go ahead and put another 28 days on then that would go ahead and put it to the 3rd of september releasing the fourth dlc and by the way this guy actually went on to say that the dlc 4 could be called ultimatum which is an absolute sick dlc we've always thought about that previously in previous call of duties if you type up ultimatum everyone seemed to have thought that that would have been the first dlc of like black ops 1 or something along the lines of that but like he said notice how every single game's dlc 4 released exactly 56 days after dlc 3 they also released between the end of august and the start of september i find that very hard Hard to believe that that's a coincidence and i actually can agree with this guy that that's such a coincidence in which triarch have actually went ahead and done and he actually goes on to say what i just said alpha and mega released on the 9th of july and what is the date when we add 56 days onto that we get september the 3rd funnily enough the 3rd of september is also the start of the next operation and that's what i did actually discuss in my last video as well if you guys want to go ahead and check that out as well and he actually goes on to say a bit more on the reddit and ironically enough of the 3rd of september is also the day that element 115 first entered the universe and landed on earth it makes sense given modern warfare's beta starts on the 12th to the 23rd so there's no way they'd release it during that and there's no way it would be after since that's getting closer to the modern warfare release date and that wouldn't match up prior re dlc releases would be a huge difference and to what they've been given so yeah so i'll actually provide you guys with such more on the screen just so you guys can go ahead and pause yourself even though i'm pretty much saying it but let's go ahead and continue this thread which he actually goes on to say so having the final DLC map release on the 3rd of September sticks to the general schedule that Treyarch have followed for every game prior. That also means it will come out on the 10th of September for Xbox, PC and still allowing DLC 4 to get some attention while waiting for Modern Warfare's private beta to begin on the 12th to the 13th and then the open beta afterwards. And now this guy has really good knowledge and like I say, big shout out to him. I'll actually link his Twitter down below as well because give him some love guys. He is actually a genius for going ahead and thinking that this is going to be the release date so let's go ahead and talk about it as well 100% coincident confident in saying it will be come out the 3rd of september 10th of september for xbox and pc and i'm certain i'm correct in saying that if it doesn't come out also he'll basically live stream transit for 24 hours putting himself in a bit of danger so yeah the name of on the other hand makes a lot of sense ultimatum a final demand of statement of terms the rejection of which will result in retaliation or a breakdown in relations i want to know what you guys goddamn think in the comment section below because this is absolutely brilliant news you get a bit of ultimus reference in, within the name and the definition for ultimatum makes sense with what will be happening with the final map it also has similar feel to origins and revelations in types of word in that monty also has a quote on revelations I know the shadow man is probably talking to you. Don't trust him. He's evil. I wouldn't piss on him if he has on fire. I bet he's saying all sorts of terrible things, spreading all kinds of rumours about me. By the way, I spell rumours. It's how he spells rumours. That's a nice little Easter egg. In fact, it's everything. After the O origins, before the R revelations with the, with a U ultimatum slash ultimus. I want to know what you guys go ahead and think in the comment section below though. That has been it for the video because it makes perfect sense for Zombie Chronicles 2 to go ahead and release this year. Like I said, they have every single asset and it's certainly going to be releasing this year. And we actually have DLC 4, which is going to be releasing in about four weeks time. Who is ready for DLC 4? Let me know down in the comment section below because I know I'm absolutely pumped for that to actually be coming out very soon here in the near future. But other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, go ahead and show that guy some love. His links will be down in the comment section slash description below. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and slap a like. Like I said, we're going for 25 likes and 
go ahead and also comment your thoughts down in the comment section below and also subscribe to the post notifications on as I say in every single video to ensure that you get new leaks news and information early and I will be providing this here on the Pluo channel. Other than that guys thanks so much for watching it's been Pluo and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out guys.